Okay, so here we are, um, part two of my um, how to lose weight while gaining or maintaining muscle video. Okay, at the end of the last part, we were talking about insulin response and how you heighten your insulin sensitivity by depleting carbs for four or five days and then suddenly hitting the system with carbs, hitting a depleted system with carbs. Now, they say that the, the discovery of the use of exogenous insulin in the sport today is what accounts for these great, never-before-seen physiques. Because, as I said in the previous video, insulin is the greatest hormone on Earth, the greatest growth hormone. Um, so, obviously, manipulating this hormone in a similar manner that they do it unnaturally, but naturally, is going to be hugely beneficial. And that's one of the main aspects that makes um, carb cycling work. And I promise you, if you try carb cycling, you will notice within days, within two cycles, or even before the first cycle, noticeable, distinctly noticeable changes in your body composition. Muscle hardness, um, muscle density, vascularity, and even energy. You'll have a new energy. Your stomach won't feel bloated. You'll feel really good. Now, this counterbalances with something else, which is mainly, I think, a psychological fear, where people believe they won't have enough energy, they won't be able to lift enough weight, their strength will go down. It's all in your mind, man. It, it really is. I did my strongest, heaviest list, my longest workout without any carbs at all. It's all in your head. You just push through. That's how it works. You just go against the grain. Your body fights you and you fight it back. That's real bodybuilding. Um, not this nonsense where, oh, I'm running out of energy. I need to go and grab a Red Bull. I wouldn't touch a Red Bull for bodybuilding. It's like pouring toxin into your body. You see these guys go over to the counter and pop three Red Bulls while they're busy, you know, trying to bench their max weights. That's not how it's done. That's not how natural bodybuilding is done. And that doesn't produce a good, healthy, strong physique. Um, <clears throat> not to criticize people who do that. To each their own, I say. Um, <clears throat> I get a lot of people who say, oh, yeah, but I get headaches and I feel weak and I feel this and it feels terrible being without carbs. It's just a phase. It's a withdrawal. It's like a withdrawal from a drug. That is all it is. And I promise you this, the more you persevere, the more cycles you do, the longer you try to stretch out the days and the harder you train against it, um, the more efficient your body will become at utilizing fats and proteins to build and to give the body energy. And um, honestly, once you start using this diet, I promise you one thing. You will wonder why you ever did anything else and why you didn't know this diet. It is the diet. Um, well, <clears throat> obviously, a lot of guys come to me and they say, can I eat a piece? I'm, I'm giving them advice about this carb cycling diet and I'm explaining everything. And they say to me, does this mean I can't eat bread? or oats in the morning, and I just want to say, oh my god, I should have just spent my time explaining it to a wall, you know, you cannot eat any carbs, it's zero carb, it's not even low carb, that's how it works, it's depletion, complete depletion, and complete repletion, and um, you need to go, I'm not going to say all the foods you can eat, and what you can and can't eat, you need to go and research that yourself, um, a lot of guys in bodybuilding, it's, there's a strange psychology going on. They want to hear it from the horse's mouth. That's what I call it. They look at you and they say, tell me what you do to get like this. And you tell them and, they, and they're nodding. And you tell them your theories and ideas and they're nodding. A couple of days later, they come back to you. How do I get like you? Or how do you do this? And you say, bro, I told you, man. I told you the other day. Yeah, but I'm trying this new thing where you do this. They... It's some kind of insecurity. If you're a bodybuilder and you've been bodybuilding for a long time, I'm sure you'll either recognize it in yourself or at least in others. It's this kind of lack of self-belief. I think it's um, a lack of um, 
self-discipline, to be honest. A total lack of individual self-discipline whereby they can't really stick to anything difficult for long enough to see it work. And with natural bodybuilding, even with normal bodybuilding, you just basically, if you don't have the self-discipline, you will accomplish nothing. Your nutrition has to be a science and you have to have iron will and discipline. You have to forget stupid cakes, biscuits, sweet drinks, beer. Forget about it. Once you really have the self-discipline to eat only what is good and to follow your diet to the letter, you will really start to see gains and you will feel fantastic. You'll feel like a bodybuilder. You'll say, I'm a bodybuilder. And you will then have what I used to call the fun of muscle. You will just enjoy your life every single day. Wherever you go, you take your top off, you go to, to the swimming pool, you go to the beach, you go to the gym, you even go to business, go to work, and people look at you and they're like, whoa, that guy's a bodybuilder, you know? And they always find it a bit intriguing. They're kind of like, this guy, you know, what's up with this guy? Why does he do this? Or, but they can't deny that this guy is eye-catching. You know, wide shoulders, good chest, good body, good health. It takes you everywhere in life. It's like with my writing. My writing is just a transition of my bodybuilding determination. Uh, when I got a very devastating shoulder injury, uh, which stopped my bodybuilding just when it was kicking off with a sponsorship contract in the Netherlands, I set to writing, which is something I've been doing since I was 16 year old. And I just had to write this book and... Uh, I'm a huge fan of westerns, but obviously they don't make the novels anymore. So I said to myself, I'm going to write a western novel. I'm going to bring it back with satire and parody and subtle humor, like a black comedy kind of thing. And that's what I've written. And I sent it off to London and I got a publishing contract. I flew over there and signed it. And it's coming out this March 2012. People used to ask me when they watched my videos, where is the PayPal button? I, tell me where the PayPal button is so I can donate. Don't donate, man. Buy a copy of my book. If you're a fan of me, you like listening to my videos, buy a copy of my book. Um, I know like-minded people watch my videos and are my friends, and I know they're going to enjoy Kit Cope Rides the High Country. Westerns, they never die, man. Alan Eltron Barrel, over and out. I'll be back with more videos. Later.